what happened when the, sh the truck hit this strut is that it sheared off from the base which meant that the strut no longer took load. The, the reason why it sheared off was so that it didn't damage the rest of the bridge. That was exactly what it was supposed to do and meant that only the damage was restricted to this part of the, the bridge. What happens then is the load that that strut was carrying is then redistributed across the rest of the bridge and all the other parts of the bridge. What we've got to do now is we've got to fix this. And to do that, we have to remove the strut from the top and at the bottom, take it out, manufacture a new piece, we have to install that new piece, and then what we have to do is we have to put load back into that strut. So to do that, we get big jacks at the top and bottom, and we put tension back into that strut so that it begins to operate like it was supposed to, and the, rate, the load across the bridge is redistributed. We're looking at doing a temporary fix, and the temporary fix will involve us uh, cutting the strut halfway up and putting in a new section of steel and bolting that to the bridge at the bottom. We won't put tension back into that uh, strut, but what it will allow to happen is us to open the, the main part of the bridge and have light vehicles running on it. And if load needs to run through the strut, the new piece of steel will allow that to be transferred. Unfortunately, because it's only a temporary situation, it won't be able to take the full loading that it's designed to. So we will still have limited amounts of vehicles able to use the main part of the bridge.